Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of All Started with Moss Podcast. I am Nick Lobzetta. And I'm Tony. So, Nick, I got to get your opinion on something because Bob Iger said something recently that kind of has me a little annoyed. Um, I think all of our listeners um, realize that if there's two things they know about us, it's that we love details and we love Animal Kingdom. <laughs> and Iger said something that I really didn't approve of. He was talking about um, how intellectual properties are the way of the future for Disney parks and rides. And he says something like, uh, it's not like I'm going to ride some nondescript coaster somewhere that maybe is themed like India or whatever. So obviously the only coaster he can really be talking about is Expedition Everest. And a lot of Disney World fans couldn't believe he said that. And I'm, I'm one of them, frankly, because I don't know how you can look at a, 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 a imaginary masterpiece like Expedition Everest that is themed beautifully, detailed 100% perfectly and think like, well, it doesn't come from a movie, so it's not worth it's not worth anything. Like, how can he be so small-minded about rides in Disney World? Do you think about the best Disney World rides? They're not from famous movies. You got Splash Mountain. Yeah, it's from a movie. No one saw it. You got Pirates. You got Haunted Mansion. All the mountains, really. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All the Soren is not from a movie. Spaceship Earth is not from a movie. Jungle Cruise. Okay, maybe it's based on Walt's True Adventure, but it's not from a movie. Come, I mean, are, are we getting to a place where everything has to be themed from a movie? Now, you got Pandora, Flight of Passage, maybe the best ride there. Okay, that's for a movie. That's fine. But are you going to really tell me? I just think it's so disrespectful because, like, obviously we're huge fans of Joe Rody. He's a lit, like, but you can't really argue as a, as a Disney fan that Rody is not, I'm going to say, the best Imagineer that never worked with Walt. Like, he is the best of the second and third generation and animal kingdom is is a theme park masterpiece like it's just beautiful in every way you're going to look at that that beautiful mountain and tell me it oh it's just themed like india first of all it's nepal it's not india we'll get into that in a later episode um i don't know i just thought i could i, I couldn't believe it and as someone who you know he used to be your boss technically Anything that you have to say about it. I am Nick's dis- worried because he's trying to get a job and he's going to get fired. I am disappointed with what he said just because, like, it's arguable that that's top five rides it might, on property. Honestly, my, it's, I have to splash. Yeah, it might be my favorite. Yeah. I mean, so, like, just just because it's, quote, a, a place in India doesn't mean that it's not great. Like, and it's obvious that, like, IPs are coming all over Disney World. And, like, Epcot World Showcase is just getting like flooded with them and it's just getting in my opinion it's getting like a little out of hand like we don't need a frozen uh, a beauty and the beast sing along no in abs- france absolutely not. so there's places in disney that don't need ips and it's just keep that way and, it, it, and i think something like asia africa world showcase something that is not related to a disney exactly. movie just should just stay that themed land like pandora is obviously related to avatar that's a movie yeah. so i'm not going to argue that one but asia like a, a country uh, in World Showcase. None of those are related to a movie. So just leave it be. Yeah, like Fantasyland and Hollywood Studios. You want to throw any movie there, ride there, I think that works. You can make the argument. Yeah, like, you and can't that, just say, yeah. because Beauty and the Beast is in France. Uh, yeah, do that. that's absurd. But then you can also, like, you know, I can understand taking the seas with Nemo and making it that. Mm-hmm. Like, I still... I don't love the ride. I'd probably rather have the living seeds back, but you can argue it. That makes sense. So, but just don't tell, like, just because it's not from, it's just, it's just great. First of all, like the theme thing, there's 11 countries in World Showcase that are themed like countries that aren't themed after, you know, cartoons. Yeah. So I, 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 I was just kind of shocked he said that um, because... I, 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 I don't know. He, he, he's, uh, I'm trying to think of a trans, of a transition. Yeah. He just wants to remove (laughs) non-IPs. Speaking of removing, we are talking about some things. He's polished, folks. (laughs) We are talking about uh, some attractions and some other things around the resort that we would remove. Yeah, time to get lost. And um, I think we have uh, ideas for what we would replace for most of these, at least. Yeah, and I think— Maybe one or two we don't. Yeah, and some people might be thinking— Oh, we already know your list. You gave, you each gave five underrated, un- things. overrated things yeah. last time. We have four, um, but there's a difference. Like I wouldn't, you know, I said uh, Soren is overrated. I certainly wouldn't 
get rid of Soren. I said Pandora's Knights overrated. I would never get rid of Pandora. So I don't, I really don't think there's any overlap actually on this list. Um, no, yeah. Um, I don't remember what I said was overrated. Like I wouldn't get rid of. Uh, I think it's a Space Mountain. Or did you? Yeah, you said Space Mountain. Yeah, could you just have that. Right? Yeah. yeah, I want to get rid of that. Yeah, I want to get rid of anything from my overrated list. I just think it's kind of a little too hyped. Um, but these things just just remove. And uh, Anthony, I'll let you go with the first one. You could pick any from the list. Well, I'm, I'm going to go with the big one because um, we talk about this a lot. And it is uh, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. That thing's just got to go. There's too much land. Like, there's just too much land there that can be used for anything else. I always say Agrabah, Cave of Wonders, right? Yeah. Right there. Aladdin, Adventureland, it's the perfect fit. They have the bazaar right there. So just, it would it, go well. Talk about, this was the transition. I could use talk about something based off a movie. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's one of the worst things in Disney World. Uh, no one cares about the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. No one cares about the Swiss Family Robinson ride or uh, uh, movie. They're, you know, and the few people that do, they'll get over it. But, and they, I just can't imagine how much, like, Adventureland is perfect, not perfect, I should not say perfect, Adventureland's great, but there's two big things that's wrong with it, I think. Yeah. And they're both on this they're list. both on this list. And so, yeah, I just think the treehouse, you, like, it's just a waste of space, and it just seems so lazy. Like, yeah, in the 70s, maybe, like, uh, Walt, um, in the early, I think it was 50s, 60s, Disney World, there was a lot of um, places you would just kind of walk and, and look at things like he had a little miniature land and stuff okay that was fine during the early days of of disney um of theme parks we don't need it now and, and i'm glad some of these things survive like i don't want something like um living with the land to leave because it's you know kind of boring or whatever but this this is different it's just like it's time to update it. we need this land it we, we need this space because this is adventure land there's nothing adventurous about a treehouse. Yeah. Every kid Walking has a treehouse in their backyard. Everyone has like everyone has stairs. Yeah, everyone has stairs. Um, yeah, I just don't. I, I went. I walked it. I don't see. Oh, the you height. did do it. I did it. Yeah, I. It was just like I've I've walked past it so many times. Let's see. There's unless it's peak season. There's a zero minute wait all the time, and they Disney. Probably want something that'll take some of yeah, the crowd and, and funnel into there. And it's not like it's you know okay, it's boring, but it, it's a people eater. There's like ten people. Exactly. On it. Yeah. It's laziness. That's that the fact that it hasn't been changed yet. There was a 15 minute wait for it. I think it was on New Year's. Yeah. I just can't imagine. Like, how, how is there even like? Are Where's the people, queue? Are people literally just waiting by the stairs? That's crazy. Oh, it takes 15 minutes to get through the ride, which, but I need ride. I, yeah, Holy it's cool. not even a riot. It's barely an attraction. Yeah. Um, so that's number one. I'd say go the other one, Adventureland. Yeah. You want to do it? And, yeah, and then we can talk about like, go into in depth how we would replace them. Yeah, why? Well, a little, I, a little I, more. Yeah. Um, so it is the Magic Carpets ride. I don't even know what it's called. Magic Carpets, Magic Carpets of, Aladdin. of Aladdin. Yeah. There's four of these in Walt Disney World, three of them in Magic Kingdom. You got uh, Triceratops. Uh, Triceratops spin, is that what it's called? Triceratops spin, I believe. Oh, yes. you, yeah, um, and then you have Astro Orbiter, Dumbo. Those those two in Magic Kingdom, I could argue that they're they're meant to be in the and, park. And Dumbo's a classic, and Astro Orbiter, you have great views. You're on like you're as yeah. high as you can go. Magic Carpets of Aladdin, it you barely go high. It's just it's it's cluttered. Yeah, that that that's the worst part about it is that first of all, it's like, hey, look, we do have Aladdin. Okay, but it's the most generic. Barely, yeah. Off the shelf uh, ride, it's it's a Dumbo copy, and the thing is, it's such a bottleneck. Like you're when you're trying to walk, you know, coming from Frontierland, or you're you know tr- coming from you know Main Street, you get to that place where just people are mixing and mashing. Mm-hmm. Like it just it completely stops the flow of people being able to move, and it's not like it's some beautiful thing. You know, it's it's kind of ugly. Uh, yeah, the only thing enjoyable is the camel that spits at you. Yeah, you can keep that. Um, and we also, but they also have six tiki torch, uh, tiki statues that spit at you too. So it's not like that's right. They're yeah, right there. I mean, it, so it's it's ridiculous. Again, like Aladdin deserves more. They should get rid of that. Really, not put anything there. Just no, leave you know, it open. Yeah, leave it open. You just you know, nice. It's a beautiful place. You got the Agra Bazaar right there. Maybe expand that a little make that a little more themed it's really nice and then yeah you got the tree of life instead and that like can you imagine walk yeah yeah (laughs) um can you imagine walking 
into Adventureland and seeing that giant head, that head, like That'd be oh, perfect. Come on, that is the best thing that Disney could do. I and think. You can keep, so my idea with the ride is you keep the carpets and you go in the carpet. And it's kind of like you try to escape. Remember when Abu touches yeah. the gem? Oh, that's the thing. That's the ride. Like, yeah. You, so they, they try and escape the the lava. Like the and queue all. is going through it, and then you like s- you go through all the gold. Yeah, and then like you get right to where like the Abu first two minutes the of the land of the ride is. Yeah, like Abu touching. Oh my God, that's amazing. I do think that like if the cart had Abu on front with the gem, like you know on Splash Mountain, yeah, you got a little Brer Rabbit. Right yeah. If you had him with the gem riding with you i like that that'd be something cool but um i don't know if it'd probably be a roller coaster and i I think like i don't even know if you've ever mentioned this place before but universal has a ride escape from gringotts now yeah i've never stepped foot in universal have you never been no okay but they say that ride's amazing and it's a it's a you know kind of a similar thing escaping from someplace and people say escape from gringotts is the most amazing you know Mm -hmm. was the most amazing ride before pandora yeah um, so yeah, I mean, I think Disney, I think Disney is just so foolish to, to not do that. And I, like, I hear rumors about like, you know, obviously you got the Star Wars plans and then the stuff after that and the stuff after that. And, and that is just never talked about. It's just like, it's too much work. You know, we don't want to do it. Um, and it would be a lot of construction, but I think it'd be so worth it. Yeah. Um, yeah. so anyway, that's our, our two for Adventureland. Uh, what is, should we stay in the Magic Kingdom? Might as well. Trying to read Nick's handwriting. Yeah, um, <laughs> let's go with that one. Tony's. Yeah, Tony's Town Square. Is that what it's called, Tony's Town Square? Um, it's the Italian restaurant on Main Street, USA. Um, now, full disclosure, I don't think we've ever been. I've been inside. Okay, but I've never had the food there. But the food is universally considered the worst food yes. in Disney World. And let's like, I don't get why it's there. Yeah, like 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 if it's related to the chapeau, which is it's got the hat box. Oh, chapeau from Lady in the Tramp. Well, the hat box it, that says chapeau on Main Street uh, is what Lady was came from. It's like the, oh, the box okay. that she was in. That's the, and then they have the hearts. Uh, yeah, but that are always covered by the strollers. It's just like when I think Main Street USA, I don't think Lady in the Tramp. No, no. And I think like if I think of a small town, like. I would go with a diner. They kind of already have something like that, but even just like uh, make kind of like maybe quick service like because yeah. diners are someplace you're in and out. Do uh, I would think a nice diner. Yeah, Main Street. You like when I think of typical Main Street small town USA, you're right. I think of sitting down at a you know a stool at a bar, and a you know old woman waitress comes up to me. Similar and, to 50s prime time. Yeah, and I say I want a milkshake. Bacon and eggs, and yes, it's ten exactly. o'clock at night. Exactly. Um, those are that's small town America. Um, yeah, and Tony's like people say it's the worst. And again, we've never been, and like it doesn't the, look good. The fact that no, it looks vile. Um, and but the fact like and again, it's Italian. I, mean, I don't really like who thinks of a great. If you think of great Italian food, you think of like New York City. You think of you know the coastal cities, not the middle of America. Yeah, not um, Marceline. And what, like literally, it's it's the busiest theme park on the planet. It's the and it, this is not an original idea. I've heard other people say this, but it's like the prime placement of a restaurant in any theme park on the planet. Mm-hmm. And this is it. What it is? Crap Italian food. Yeah, it's a great. It is a great location. It's if you're out like they have kind of like an outside patio area, and you can watch the parade go by. Just people watch. Like that's what people love to do. And yet, you just like I. I always think it's back to laziness where they don't. They just don't care like the quality of that food because they know people of their location it. people will come doesn't matter yeah you doesn't matter what we serve this is going to be the busiest restaurant in any theme park basically yeah um and yeah well, that is busiest but it, it probably is not the busiest yeah you're right but i i bet it's see i wonder if its reputation has gotten so bad but i i bet it's one of the busier like top half of the busiest restaurants just because if you're some just some random Disney person who ne- doesn't do any research, which is probably a lot of the people who yeah. come in, probably the majority, you walk in, kids are hungry, bam, that's the first thing. Yeah, get rid of it, put it in a diner. Qu- yeah, you're right. You, maybe just a quick service. You got the, um, what's it called? D- down plaza or Keith The Plaza, yeah. which is a sit-down. They do have a quick service at the end of Main Street, but I just think... Or make it a, like a signature. Yeah. 
that could like be a, a beautiful you know like this is the best of american you know like like something like you because know, grand floridian and main street usa are supposed to be like reflective of yes. each other like something like narcoogies or citrico or whatever like a step up of the cafe the grand yeah, floridian cafe. yeah 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 yeah. I could definitely see something great like that, but yeah, I just, I just would like to see that removed and changed. I agree. Uh, that's it's for Magic Kingdom. Yes, I think we only have one thing. In it. And I want all the people. Everyone says we hate too much on Tomorrowland. We didn't even say anything yeah, about Tomorrowland. I would. I, I, I see. There's nothing that like is horrible about Tomorrowland. They just yeah. need to update Tomorrowland. I would say if laugh lore, but but def- laugh. You know. what? I probably put laugh. You know, I'm gonna add laugh floor on this. Yeah, I would say the only thing with laugh floor is like, laugh floor is what is Tomorrowland about it? Monsters aren't Tomorrowland. No, it's not the future. Everything else. It might be argue. the future because there's you know, monsters. it might be a future. What if it adds the Pixar theory where monsters have evolved, humans evolved into monsters? If no, that's but they're still true. monsters. Or they're still humans because Boo, Boo's a monster. They're going to they're scare going back kids. in time. Oh my god, that's the theory. That's the I've Pixar never theory. heard that. Yeah, that's amazing. Um. Like I want, yeah, that's a, why I, I want a Monsters Inc. ride or attraction. Yeah, they have I believe, it in Disney. There, there's ru- yeah, they or do. California Adventure. There's rumors that there's going to be a Monsters Inc. land in Hollywood Studios, like the next step. It's a very like um, <clears throat> un- um, unsubstantiated rumor, but like if this is the Monsters Inc. Um, thing that's in Magic King, that's in Disney World right now, I guess I'm okay with it. I'd rather have something than nothing. But Monsters Inc. is a waste of space. I like. I'm sure people like it, but go do Turtle Talk with Crush if you need to interact with something. We don't need two of these things. Um, I would change it. Man, there's any. Uh, I would give do a Monsters Inc. ride, or for what you know, if they're going to push Monsters Inc. to Hollywood Studios, I would do. I'd do something that's not IP. Yeah, just a new thing. Do an original ride. Yeah, I would. I would oh. Like <laughs> <laughs> I just it's so funny because I was so proud of myself that we didn't do any Tomorrowland and I just thought of another one. we have to add the worst thing of all time the worst thing of in all Tomorrowland? time Tomorrowland the Speedway the Speedway uh, you got I, it you got it rip it out I wouldn't what I isn't there like reasoning for oh, okay it? you're right uh, he's right I didn't think of that the fact that also, if they get it, rid of Tomorrowland it's Speedway way out no it's not really it's sure. surviving Tron if they get, I think the theory is if they get rid of Tomorrowland Speedway, it's like inter, like it's interwoven with the TTA, the People Mover, so they'd have to do something with that too. So if that's the case, they just have to update it a little bit. If that's the case, I don't like that. But it, there's like, but that's the biggest waste of space in Disney World. It is, and it just it doesn't get with the time, the the theming. Um, that's yeah, the worst thing in Disney. I would say that I would say. You gotta get rid of it. You gotta toss it. it. I was so proud of myself. Yeah, we. <laughs> and I, now we have two. <laughs> yeah, those two. I mean. Okay, so what do you what do you replace the speedway with? Uh, see, uh, Tomorrowland. Just I'm trying to think like IPs as well as our own thing. Um, Tomorrowland's the hardest, probably because Future World's the hardest. Like Tomorrowland and Future World are the hardest to theme because whenever you get to the future, like it's already the past. Yeah, exactly. I would probably say, oh, oh, Tomorrowland can have my idea of the Wally ride, where the queue is when you're in the chair. So like tomorrow, like Wally's all about people being lazy mm-hmm. and not doing anything. Imagine what's lazier than sitting in a queue instead of walking down a queue. Yeah, I like that. So Although Wally's going in Future World. Where? Wherever I decide, because that's where I want Wally. Oh, wherever <laughs> I decide. I thought you were actually saying <laughs> no. it's happening. Um, I, I yeah, I like that. Yeah, they. I, I mean, but the thing is, it's kind of this, it's almost like the Tony Town Square of rides because that thing is always got a line. Yeah, kids love it. And there, there's a theory I read about why it's there, and I, it, I think it's just some guy's theory, but I love it. It's that when Disney World, uh, with Disneyland was being built, there was no interstate highway system, so the idea of driving long stretches was the future. Before tomorrow. Yeah. So and now it's like, look what we thought the future was. I see. Yeah, I think I don't think, I think if Disney read that, they're like, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's a good lie. I I like the idea. I like that you know, uh, philosophical reasoning for it. But I would say, oh, that's nice. Get rid of it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 
Um, yeah, that's got to go. And, you know, they could put a churro stand and I'd be fine. <laughs> no. Yeah. What would, would you rather have? Uh, a new a new quick service? Churros are only good in Frontierland. Okay, he's right. But a new quick service? Oh, God, you have to get rid of Cosmic Grace, too. <laughs> They wouldn't have a new quick service right next to Cosmic Rays. What I like what I do kind of like about Tomorrowland, this is just a total truth. You do get rid of Cosmic Rays. No. Uh, people love it. I would I, I would never they argue do. get rid of it. I just I'm not a fan of it. But I do like how there's like three really like the the middle thing, uh the launching pad, the Joffreys, and anti gravities, all these like kind of small quick service places. Yeah, but they're all bad. No, I would say that anti gravities is good. Galactic they, goodies. They have uh, the the interesting like smoothies and milkshakes that come out. I always like that they had the s'mores thing that I told you about. Milkshake? It was like a s'mores tart. Really? Yeah. You didn't tell me about this. I think I did. I love s'mores stuff. I would have eaten that. Yeah. Um, um Yeah. Yeah. We're back. See, I want I want more I, I, I love the idea of Tomorrowland. But I, they just have to redo everything. I think, yeah, I think it just, I think Tron will help it a lot. I, I have no problem with Tron coming in. Tron's mm-hmm. future, that's fine. I, I am excited for Tron. I just, it's just going to be this beautiful, shiny thing. And then, like, you know, <laughs> the car is going around. <laughs> it's right Smelling of it. gas. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think that would be the two things in Tomorrowland we get rid of. Yeah. All right, so done with Magic Kingdom. Um, go up to Epcot. Epcot. Uh, Interventions. Interventions. Interventions is just a ghost town. Um, Interventions is the place you go when you don't want to walk outside to get to you know Mission Space or Soren. You know to get across Future World. Mm-hmm. Um, there's just there's literally. Is Interventions even open on the left side? Future World East. I don't know, but even if it's not, it's just it's just so again it's just so much space that can be. What what was before Interventions? So, we never went in it. But what was before Interventions? I don't know. But they did have some of all thrills on the left side. Yeah. And then on the right hand side, they had like a bunch of like really small interactive things. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Interventions West has Baymax, Joy and Sadness, and then the Secret Visa, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Secret Visa uh, thing that um, you can go to meet characters. Can you think of anything more futuristic than a character meet? and greet and a place for credit card holders yeah and especially because the character spots literally right across the hall right across the yeah from it um i just don't understand there, there was something before interventions i'm trying to find it has I, there I been should talk know of I what know. would be going I, it's going to go we could away. put the wally ride there well yeah it's going to go away um but i don't know what is taking its place um but yeah, like there's just that is just it's like a huge stretch of future world and fu- like interventions, innovation, and what's the other one? Inventions. What? What's interventions? Oh, innovations, innovations. innovations. innovations? Yeah. So like that screams like future stuff. Like let's put even just some little things in, it. just scatter it with stupid stands of future stuff. I don't care. But like even it literally is nothing on the left hand side. I believe. Yeah, and maybe even, during the. Uh, festivals yeah communicor was the name of the old one and i don't know too much about it but i know people loved it mm-hmm. yeah uh i got nothing more to add about interventions yeah i think we can go on to the next one hollywood uh, studios yeah hollywood studios i would say uh let's start with the we only, we only got one right two the indiana jones oh yeah again one. it's like they've gotten rid of so much they got rid of um the lights. backstage thing they got rid of lights camera action motor action they got rid of the great movie ride yeah, this is is well past its time. It's a it's just worn out. Indiana Jones. No one really cares about Indiana Jones anymore. Um, there's just again, you want to do. There's so many things that have been rumored or planned for Hollywood Studios: Cars Land, Monsters Inc. Land. Um, you know, I believe they're going to expand to, uh, uh, Star Wars Land at a point. Um, even though it hasn't even opened yet, Toy Story Land, they're thinking I'm expanding. There's so many. Like, this is the place where you just throw IPs. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, we just made a great movie. Okay, put it there. Like, there's so many, you know, technology is expanding. All these grip rides are going to be the best thing ever. You know, no one wants to see some actor rolling, you know, with a ball, with a ball chasing yeah. him. And jumping off a building into a mattress. I mean, yeah, come, now I know it's a people eater. 
gets a lot of people in for a while. But, you know, build a, a better show. Yeah. E- even, Do you have any suggestions for a show? A show? I, see, I don't really like shows. I would do. I would replace it with like, like uh, Emperor's New Clothes. Ride. Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove ride. Yeah, like an like underrated that. De- or um, that'd be a perfect. Hercules. Yeah, just like because that stuff. I, I, I could argue they go to Adventureland, maybe, but not her- you know, maybe Hercules uh, is Greece. Not Hercules, but yeah. Adventures. Uh, Emperor's Where New Groove. Where is Adventures? Is that South America? Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, I have no idea. Probably, I don't know. If they ever hinted at it, uh, um, but adventure, because you, you, you need something like that. Like I would say, uh, Emperor's New Groove is something that would be perfect in Hollywood Studios because it's not like you'll see hobbits in Magic Kingdom before Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that and Hercules, they don't really have like a place they can go in the other parks. So putting them somewhere like Hollywood Studios, it would be perfect, and get rid of Indiana Jones, which is just a lame show. Honestly, I think it would be perfect. If they bought Lord of the Rings, like they bought Star Wars, and they Lord of the Rings land in the Hollywood Shire. Studios, oh my God. Hollywood Studios just skyrockets in the number one park. I always say the only two things that could get me to Universal are if they actually do like a Mario Land. Or, Which is happening. Yeah, we'll see how. They still haven't announced it. Really? I don't think so. Or if Universal buys Lord of the Rings. And then I'm like, all right, I got I to gotta step, I gotta yeah. step foot. Um, but yeah, really... Uh, Emperor's New Groove, Hercules, just some of those uh, um, movies. Because I think there's nothing wrong with movies having rights. It's just, you know, you don't have to... I don't want um, Everest themed after Emperor's New Groove, even though I love Emperor's New Groove. There's nothing wrong with movies having rights. That's what Hollywood Studios is for. It's the movie perk. Just like Fantasyland's the movie land. Um, So yeah, some of those underrated movies. Um, Yeah, I don't have too much more to say about this one. Yeah. Um, I don't really think it gets that much love, and I think it's time no, it's, for it to... it, yeah, it's just time. Yeah, it's time to go. Um, and I, saw, sorry, I think we saw it once. I don't even remember liking it. I don't know. Did we? I know we saw it once. And we, we had to stop because of the yeah, weather. Yeah, it was. A, there was. And a I don't big know if storm. we ever went back. I think we went back the next. Time. Where was Doug? Oh, remember Doug? I don't think Doug. That was Nickelodeon. No, it was not. We never went to Nickelodeon. Yeah, but I don't know. Doug was in Disney World. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't remember that at all. But I was a young kid our first right. time. Um, our next one, I do have a good idea of what we could replace with this. Uh, on Hollywood Boulevard, right? That's what it's called. We were thinking about it last time. Well, what's the other thing? Remember I kept, I was asking you. That's the, the one street. we know. No, it's Sunset Boulevard. Oh, Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. Okay. Highway, yeah. I think it is. Highway Boulevard. Boulevard's the main one. Uh, Sunset Boulevard, Beauty and the Beast musical, I think it's called. They're adding a new one to France, which, I mean, I think is stupid. But if you're adding that one, you don't need both. No. Get rid of the old one. And I think you could... Uh, argue you could add something like similar to the great movie ride like the making of show business like you know the other end scene yeah. everyone loves you could put something like that in there like uh like how movies are made or tv shows it's al- almost like a living with the land as a for movies for movies yeah which i guess that no hollywood studios or a uh, uh, great movie ride wasn't that it was just like showcasing yeah. like that is a, that's a great yeah. idea i love that I would a nice slow ride yeah exactly just something similar and that'd be like the perfect like like I love where that. the citizens of Hollywood Studios go, like they're they're actors and they're that's like, great. I think that'd be a good location for it. That's just, excellent. Well yeah. done. Uh, and like the costumes are just old and yeah. Like I I love Beauty and the Beast. Everyone freaks out that Frozen is in Epcot. It wasn't Hollywood Studios, and the girls were in Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Now it's just in Epcot, right? No, there's a sing along in Hollywood Studios. Oh, there still is. Yeah. Okay. Beauty and the Beast now, we got to have it in France, we got to have it in New Fantasyland, and we got to have it in Hollywood Studios. Yeah. I love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of the best of all time. New New, new Fantasyland is one of the best themed lands ever. I don't. We don't need it in three places. Yeah. You're right. It should not be in France. It's ridiculous it's in France. But since it's going to France, get rid of this one. Yeah. And I assume they will. You think so? I mean, I hope so. It's it's. Although, you know what? The new one is going to be songs, I think, from the new movie. I think it's going to be like a sing-along from the new movie. Yeah, it's going to be from the new movie, but what so songs? Dumb. Like the only – how many songs? No, no, but I'm saying like it's going to be – It's going to be – The beer guest. Obviously, you've never uh, seen the Frozen one. I have. Um, it's just a screen with two uh, narrators. Yeah. And they – like little bouncing ball. Yeah. With So I think that's what it's going to be for uh, – Beauty and Beast, but literally someone's going to be singing Be Our Guest in uh, Epcot while someone's singing Be Our Guest in 
Hollywood Studios. You don't need two. You no. don't need two of the exact same thing. No, you don't. Uh, Doug Live was in Hollywood Studios. Wow. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Beauty and the Beast, time to go for them. I agree. Time for Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom's tough. Again, you know, I, I'm, I, I, like I said before, it might be my favorite park now. Um, but I think Rafiki's Planet Watch. Yeah. I, I think if you ask 10 people who are big fans of Disney World and you say, you describe Rafiki's Planet Watch, they wouldn't know what you're talking about. I didn't know it existed till. I, I, I always forget it exists, and as big of a fan I am of Magic of uh, Animal Kingdom, I've never stepped foot. And I, if I wanted to get there, I could don't even know where to go. I only did once. Because, where is it? It is. Uh, so it's right by Harambe and Kilimanjaro. Because when I've seen the train. Pass. When you're sitting in Harambe, you see the train. Yeah. So you go in between those two, and you just wait for the train to come, and then. So I only went once just to meet Jiminy Cricket on the 20th anniversary. Yeah. But the line was two hours, so we just turned around and went back. Now I love that there's. A, and then I met Joe Rody. Shut it. Um, now I love that there's a place that, like, they're helping animals, and guests can see them help animals. I love that. It's part of Animal Kingdom conservation, respect for animal life. But that can just that can be like you don't need to take a train to get there. Yeah, you can see that in Kilimanjaro. Yeah, you but, see that but, in the savanna at yeah, Elgin like so. Lodge. It's like I think that's great, but that is again, it's a lot. Of, that's like we can put something else here. You can keep that and move it. Like this of all these things, I get rid of all of them. This one I'd move and maybe put it like, like at the front of the park, you know, like a, a side thing. Like mm-hmm. you know, look at us train help the animals. Not take some. Uh, how long is the train ride? A couple minutes. A couple minutes. And, and I'm not kidding. I was on the train and I just saw advertisements for the Lion King. Like I, I was laughing just because like they're trying to get us to buy like the Lion King DVD. Like oh, so we're not even the Lion King show. No, the, the it was yeah, like that's terrible. The animated one. So yeah, I bet there's gonna be new the new Lion King now. Yeah, so like there's again, get rid of that and. I don't know. I mean, it's yeah. another land. They're gonna need uh, when they if they ever expand again, they're gonna need something else. What would be a good land? Australia has been the one that's always rumored. Yeah, there Australia you go. or perfect. Zootopia. Zootopia would be cool. Zootopia would be pretty cool. Make that like what's it called little rodent, rod, the rodent or, area, or, or just theme this to Utopia. Like. Zootopia. Ha- yeah. yeah, have I been saying Utopia the whole time? No, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, Zootopia. Like I don't know, you know, I don't know if you could, if that would work. Like I, I don't want to say it's you know get rid of these animals because no, because that is you know Rody always says you're here because of the animals. Um, we're here. Because it is of, called Animal Kingdom. For yeah. Reason. Um, maybe move this to Animal Kingdom Watch. Yeah. Another, you know, that's a great a little thing to do. There. And yeah, another thing to do there. Um, but yeah, like if like this, this is a big stretch of land. And Animal Kingdom, again, pretty much perfect. But yeah, you it's something that no one really does, even the big Animal Kingdom fans. I do I I probably will go on it next time just to experience it. Um maybe I'll you know fall in love with it. It's like, you know, the best thing. Um I guess cool. some I guess I know some people like it, like some big Animal Kingdom fans like it because it's like this underrated, overlooked thing that, you know, only the diehards really care about. Um but you know, like I, I have a book about Animal Kingdom, and I don't even think <laughs> I think they mentioned Rafiki for like two pages. Um, like it's always a, it's like that other thing. It's like you've got Pandora, you've got Africa, Asia, Dino Land, the Tree of Life, the Oasis, all these great themed things, and then you take a train with advertisements for DVDs. Come on, that's not Animal Kingdom. Um, and the place isn't themed at all, right? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think it is. Um, so yeah, either. Probably a little Lion King themed, but other than that, yeah, like a, you know, if you, I wouldn't even say, you know, don't even dress it up. Maybe the animals don't want, you know, animals walking, you know, Rafiki's walking around taking pictures. Maybe that's too much for them. Just, you know, it's something that I'm not saying get rid of it. We're not saying get rid of it. Just move it. I think Animal Kingdom Lodge would be a great place. Yeah, I agree. And my prediction is, uh, next time Animal Kingdom does an expansion, it will be to get rid of this and add Zootopia. Yeah, I think that's something that would make sense. Yeah, it does. I mean, you can't get rid of anything else. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, don't if they, touch anything. I don't else. know if they have the. They probably have. Although now, I'm, now I'm scared. Iger's gonna get rid of Harambe because it's not themed to something. Yeah, but I mean, 
he's got to probably jump through a little more hoops than just. No, I know he wouldn't. He he adapted. He Harambe would be people tough. would revolt. That, people would absolutely go nuts. Yeah, I could. I'd be first. That'd be interesting to see. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna make. Uh, oh, you know what? Um, Black Panther is rumored oh. to go. Are they gonna start adding Marvel stuff? If they add Wakanda, they can add Black Panther. I think it's not part of the. Um, there's a contract that most um, Marvel stuff cannot be added east of the Mississippi. Um, that's all. Like any Marvel ride is universal, but there are certain things that fall through the cracks um, and are under that, like Guardians of the Galaxy, which is why we're getting. Guardians. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure Black Panther would be one of those exceptions. I haven't seen it. I want to see it. I keep hearing good things. I just, I, 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 not having seen it, I just can't understand how Marvel fits into Animal Kingdom. Now, I'm sure I would have said the same thing about Pandora, but. Like, yeah, I mean, I. Does it work? Could you make it work? You could make Wakanda work. Can't make anything else work. Only. Is it like in the jungle in Africa? It's a, it's an African. So it would have to be in Africa. It's very similar to an African. I don't even know where Wakanda is. I think it got to be Africa. But uh, it's just like, everyone thinks Wakanda is this like poor city, but it's got a. Uh, uh, it's like the mining place of the most valuable element in in the Marvel universe. So like, they're so much more advanced yeah. than you're aware of. So like, you couldn't do it. So like, you're walking into like a very crappy, sad village, and then you just like walk through, and then you walk into Wakanda, and it's like so it's so advanced. Like, there's uh flying vehicles, Spaceships, yeah. vehicles. Yeah, it's just. It's so well. It's so well done that like hmm. you could argue Wakanda would do well in Animal Kingdom. There's nothing else you can in Marvel, but just obviously that would do well. I'm I, I'm I I don't want them to touch Africa. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it it's better than anything, but it, other than Rafiki, touch. get rid of uh, put it in uh, <laughs> Lion King. I don't care about that. The Festival of Lion King. Yeah. yeah. Do a Wakanda. Whatever festival called, Wakanda. Of Wakanda. <laughs> yeah, Festival of Wakanda. Um, I do have to see that movie. Yeah. Uh, okay, so our last one, and uh, we're it stepping is, outside yep. the parks. It is a resort. Yes. It's just like, it's, it's it's a deluxe, it's just something that, like, it's the Yacht Club. It's... Yacht Club's fine, but it's... Nothing used, special. Yeah, Nick calls it the darker... The gray beach club. The gray, boring beach club. Yeah. And yeah, it's like, it's not fancy enough to be like the grand... It's not fun enough to be boardwalk. the boardwalk. Um, it's just this weird thing in the middle. And it's like always like, we're going to go stay at the Epcot ones. Oh, it is uh, Beach Club too expensive? We'll go to Boardwalk. boardwalk to, oh, I guess we'll go to Yacht Club. Like it's always everyone's third pick. Yeah, like you could argue keep that one, get rid of Beach Club. But I think Beach Club's got a little more fun fun to it. It's got yeah. the, the pool. It's got the solar area. Yeah. Uh, the lobby. You don't need be better. Both. Yeah, need exactly. Both. And every like everyone says Beach Club's better. Yeah, it's more. It's, I don't think anyone. It's more fun. It's I more would love vibrant. to see someone who's like, oh, no, Yacht Club's. Actually. Um, now Yacht Club does have what may be the best um, restaurant in that area, Yachtsman yes. Steakhouse. I've never been. Hope to go next trip. Move that. To I would Beach say Club. Flying Fish might be it. Yeah, I, that, those are obviously the two signatures. Um, so yeah, that I think. I think. Just theme it to something different. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Where'd the convention? Like, because, like, make, it keep a it a convention. Uh, but, I mean, you have the Swan and Dolphin, which yeah, is also a convention. Yeah, moving the Swan and Dolphin. Uh, it just, I don't know what would be a good theme for it. Something on the water, Yeah, obviously. okay, let's see. Let's think about this. Something on the water, but it can't be like Hawaii. It can't be like a, like a tropical paradise. Maine? Like a Maine? That's kind of... Maine is good because I think the yacht... Because the boardwalk is like New Jersey boardwalk. Yeah. The beach club. The beach club is, I think it's supposed to be like the Hamptons. Oh, okay. Um, and then, yeah, have a little like New England. And, yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah. You you talk for a minute. Okay. So I think having like having it uh, more related to Maine would be oh, nice. Having a seafood restaurant. uh Little saltwater taffy place. There you go. Yeah. That'd be really nice. Um, where the ki- the guests can watch it be made and stuff like that. I think that's if- a great idea. That saltwater taffy thing, actually. Thank you. Thank you. I think if they um, Arm- we, we armchair engineering tonight. 
You, uh, you know what? Like, Iger's going to listen to this, and you can be like, who do these guys <laughs> think they are insulting my uh, my IP uh, statement? Then he's going to listen to the everything we said so far. He's like, all right, we got to make some changes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I believe uh, – I believe, like, yeah, Yacht Club can't, can't, it's not that different than the Beach Club. Mm-hmm. And Beach Club's. Okay, so uh, the Beach Club is a deluxe resort hotel themed to a seaside resort cottage found in New England in the early 20th century. Okay, so I don't really see New England. I see more Hamptons. Yeah, like New, more, like. Like on um, the beach, just like, like relaxing. Yeah. Where New England. Ve- New England has a very distinct style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, so maybe just expand, you know, it's just the beach Expand club. the beach club, yeah, make it a bigger... It's, it'll be huge, but yeah, but what's, yeah, what's well, the outside of that? It's like um, uh, Port Orleans French Quarter and Riverside. Port Orleans, or Beach Club, Hamptons, Beach, beach club, club, Hamptons, New Beach Club, Beach Club, Maine! Or New whatever. England. Yeah, beach Club, New England, there you go. Yeah, the the taffy, um, lop, you know, there's really no place where you can, like, like a lobster place at Disney. Oh, well, Narcoosies. You got Narcoosies, yeah. I guess that's supposed to be like, uh, who cares? It's a different place. Yeah, so a lobster place. People can't get enough lobster. Um, or, cl- you know, clams, crab chowder, cr- clam chowder, crabs. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I think that'd be cool. Maybe um, a little fudge place. Yeah, fudge place. Uh, just, th- you know, make, like, you know, uh, like. I know there's there's a national park up in in Maine, so maybe you know some theme something like that because you know like they got the the geysers from uh, the national park in yeah. wilderness. Yeah, I these believe, are some good yeah. ideas. I like this. So yeah, so what it came to ten things we were gonna ten change. Ten things. Um, I would like to know from you guys what you would remove. Uh, if you could remove one thing from Disney World, what would it be? How would you replace it? I think we came up with. Uh, did we come up with subs, uh, replacements for all of these? Basically, yeah, we we got something. Yeah, we we have a leg to stand on. Uh, if, when leg we talk to, to a leg to stand on, when we talk yes, to Iger, yes, we have yes. ideas. Um, He's gonna sue us for, for attacking him. For attacking him, <laughs> <laughs> what's it called? The uh, slander. <laughs> uh, s- yeah, slander spoken. <laughs> I think. So yeah, um, Mr. Iger, we are big fans. Just we just <laughs> didn't approve of one thing you said. Um, but yes, you can. Send send us a message on Dis- Disney Detailer on Instagram. Let us know what you would change, uh, what you would replace it with. And uh, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, uh, let us know. Tell your friends about us. Anything else you'd like to add before you sign I'm off? I'm good. Sign us off, Nick. All right. Kungalusha, everyone. <laughs>